As a Flutter developer, I know many of you are considering cross-platform mobile app development. With frameworks like Flutter and React Native taking the scene by storm, it can be tough to decide which one to choose. In this video, we will discover the two giants of cross-platform mobile app development, Flutter and React Native, and trace their growth and development. We will compare their strengths, weaknesses, performance, and other things. We didn't stop there. We will also discuss the abundance of packages and vibrant communities surrounding and jobs with both frameworks. What is Flutter? Flutter is a mobile application framework developed by Google. Created Flutter in 2015, and it was released in 2017 and is Flutter uses a special language called Dart. Flutter is an open-source UI framework for building beautiful, native compiled apps for mobile Android and iOS, web, and desktop from a single codebase. In addition, millions of applications have been created with Flutter among the most famous are BMW, Google Ads, PUBG Mobile, Alibaba, and many more. Flutter has been gaining a lot of popularity over the last few years, and it's no surprise why. What is React Native? React Native was created by Facebook in 2013 and it was officially released to the public in 2015 and has since become a popular open-source framework. React Native is an open-source framework that allows you to build native mobile apps for iOS and Android using JavaScript, and it is a popular and easy-to-learn language. There are countless mobile apps you use every day that were built with React Native, from social media giants like Facebook and Instagram to business tools like Skype and Discord. React Native and Flutter Performance If we want to know how fast these frameworks are, we need to understand how they work. React Native works differently. It uses JavaScript and a special bridge to communicate with the native features of your phone, camera, GPS. While the bridge can introduce a slight overhead compared to truly native apps, React Native has gotten faster with a newer JavaScript engine. Most apps built with it will feel very smooth. On the opposite side Flutter uses an ahead-of-time compiler to convert your code into machine code before the app runs. This compiled code can potentially be faster than React Native's reliance on the JavaScript bridge, especially for complex apps with heavy graphics or animations. And Flutter offers a hot reload feature which is a major advantage as developers can easily view their changes in the app's interface in real time, while React Native has the live reload feature which allows changes in the source code to be reflected in the device instantly. Communities Choosing a mobile app framework can be tough, but a strong developer community can make all the difference. We'll be looking at the communities behind React Native and Flutter. React Native has been around longer, so its community is massive. You'll find tons of experienced developers and resources online. While the React Native community is building, the Flutter community is growing rapidly. New developers are flocking to Flutter for its unique features until it reaches this great result in 2024. Now let us compare important numbers, which are also an important indicator to discover your programming journey and how difficult it is. The first number is how many questions are related to Flutter or React on the Stack Overflow. There are 176,377 questions related to Flutter compared to 137,000 for React Native. These numbers are constantly changing. Here we notice that Flutter GitHub Star has reached 162,026.5 thousand forks, compared to React Native 116,023.6 thousand forks. I will put links to the sources of these numbers in the description. And both React Native and Flutter have fantastic official documentation, making it easy to get started. And communities are all about sharing knowledge. They host events and conferences, both online and in person like Google I.O. for Flutter. In my personal opinion, I trust Google, and I see in the near future that Flutter will soar high and become a leader in mobile application development. Cost in Jobs Keeping costs in mind is crucial for any project. Let's see how React Native and Flutter compare when it comes to development expenses. The final development cost depends on factors like project complexity, team location, and developer experience. There is no specific number for the number of React Native developers, but it is much less than Flutter developers, and this means two important indicators. The market is full of unemployed developers and the tendency of programmers to learn Flutter in recent years. So you're looking to land a mobile app development job? 
Let's see what the job markets look like for React Native and Flutter developers. React Native has been around longer, so naturally, there are more job postings out there. Many developers already know JavaScript, which is a key skill for React Native. This makes it easier for companies to find qualified candidates. So if you already know JavaScript, React Native might be a smooth transition. If you're eager to learn a new in-demand skill and be part of a rapidly growing field, Flutter could be a great choice. In addition, you should search for more job opportunities in your country for example, in the United States of America, the jobs of React Native more than Flutter. Remember, the mobile app development landscape is constantly evolving. Stay curious, keep learning, and you'll be well positioned for success in either market. I hope this has been helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button. See you next week.